So, um, I want to talk about Sean Porter for a minute. You know, some of the things I'm saying in this video, I said uh, when they first started, they first started talking about Sean Porter and Errol Spence Jr. being made. And, um, I, and I want to touch back, touch base on those things again, as well as um, elaborate on some other things. Um, so now, Sean Porter suddenly has all the confidence in the world and is basically talking about all the things that make him, you know, should make him the favorite versus Errol Spence and basically talks about, he even made the, uh, made the statement that Errol Spence being a southpaw was a detriment to him. You know, not in those words, paraphrased, of course. But, um, you know, a lot of things. I mean, he, he's basically, you know, talking about what he's going to do, what Errol's not going to be able to do, and so forth and so on. And, and I always go back to the fact that th this fight didn't just come out of nowhere. This fight could have been happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad the fight's happening now for one reason, and that's because uh, Porter has a belt, and, and I want to see unification fights. Well, well, I say not just Porter has a belt because both guys have a belt. But um, also, I don't think Porter should have his belt, to be honest. I felt like Uga's beat Porter, and I know that I'm not alone in that. But at the same time, he, he, he got the decision. He has the strap, and uh, he's a WBC champion, and this is a unification fight, so I'm glad it's happening. But that said, um, even when he first won that title, and Errol Spence got him ring and challenged him, he, uh, y'all remember the high sir confrontation? You know, uh, Sean Porter was talking about how easy it was gonna be to make that fight, and then we didn't hear anything else from Sean Porter about making that fight. And uh, Mikey Garcia ended up getting the Errol Spence Jr. fight, and Ugas went ahead and fought um, Sean Porter. So, I just wonder where all this confidence was when he and his dad were making excuses about um, not fighting Errol, and um, you know, basically talking about doing other things and he wanted the Keith Thurman fight you know Sean Porter was all about trying to get that Keith Thurman fight he wanted the Keith Thurman rematch he didn't want the Errol Smith fight just like Keith Thurman didn't want the Errol Smith fight he wanted the uh, rematch with Sean Porter and then rematch with Danny Garcia so you know and, and this is the thing I, I said before I said it again Sean Porter only seemed interested in the Errol Spence Jr. fight once he saw that Errol Spence Jr. was A, being on pay-per-view, and B, he saw the crowd size, saw the turnout of that fight. He was there at the fight, covering the fight. And C, he, he saw the pay-per-view numbers that came in from that fight. And then suddenly, it, it piqued his interest to get the Errol Spence Jr. fight. But ultimately, I think the, the first thing that enticed him was when Harold Smith Jr. was headlining the pay-per-view. Because if you, if you guys can recall, when um, they first started talking about Harold Smith Jr. being on pay-per-view, you had Sean Porter and Danny Garcia both talking about how they deserve to be on a pay-per-view. You know, basically saying that, you know, they, they basically were questioning, like, why is Harold on pay-per-view? They are They've been in the game longer than him, et cetera, et cetera. You know, different things of that nature. And, um, I mean, they really were hating, I mean, to be honest. I mean, I mean, it's good old-fashioned hating is what, what, it, what it is, what they were doing. But, um, you know, so one, once Errol got that pay-per-view and it became apparent that, you know, he, he possibly, could possibly be – um, becoming a pay-per-view attraction to where he's going to probably be fighting on pay-per-view um, pretty frequently, then Porter wanted to fight. Just like now, Danny Garcia, who had nothing to say about Errol Smith Jr., nothing but duck, duck tactics, now Danny Garcia even sneak disses Errol Smith Jr. from time to time. You know, 
and I think it's all about trying to get Errol to call his name again because now the fight's a lot more lucrative and we know Danny Garcia has been making good money for a while you know or at least that's that's what's said and it, it's for a guy like Danny it's going to take a certain amount of enticement to take certain fights because Danny has been making good money for whatever fights he was, he was getting so you know a lot of times that hunger is not there to take certain fights just to prove that you're better than someone or just to prove that you're great it's like I gotta get this certain conversation to go get that fight but back to Sean Porter I don't believe all this confidence that he's talking with I don't I think it's false bravado once again like I said in another video about Anthony Joshua I think these guys are taking a page out of Keith Thurman's book um, trying to talk themselves up and uh, just like Thurman they're not going to convince themselves first of all they may convince a few fans they're not going to convince people who actually pay attention to what's going on in boxing pay attention to people's demeanor um, pay attention to the, the, um, the way they conduct themselves it's like you're not going to all of a sudden change your stripes and I'm gonna just buy, be all in, thinking that oh yeah, and this is this is this is the new Sean Porter, this is the new Keith Thurman, this is the new AJ. You know, um, no, you are who you are. And even even when confident, because I'm sure Porter been confident in a lot of other fights, and he's went out and won those fights. Porter didn't talk like this. Porter's talking this way because he's having to try to convince himself and his fans that um, he wants this fight and he's up for this fight and it's not just a money grab that he's coming to beat Errol and he's going to beat Errol and he's going he's gonna to leave that uh, fight with two belts. I personally don't think it's going to happen but, you know, for whatever reason I'm not going to I'm not going to bash on it too bad because I'm glad the fights are happening. So, um, you know, and um, regardless of what the outcome is I'm hoping that the winner of that fight is looking for a fight with um, Manny Pacquiao or Terrence Bud Crawford to pick up yet another welterweight strap. But that's all I got to say on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing, I'm out. Peace.